Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and welcome to four or five random horror games that I found on Itch.io. Yeah. Uh, the first one is called Perfect Spot, which is by uh, a Pishbox Games? A Pishbox? I was like saying a pish, because in Scotland that means just taking a piss. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is by Niven Hedinger. They also did Lamp Post, which I covered, and Incoherence, which I covered. I think I also did Stalls of the Dead. I might have actually played quite a few of their games. Huh. Uh, yeah, Perfect Spot is a very short horror game, which includes mild jump scares, loud sound effects, and atmospheric horror elements. Basically, you can uh, say it is somewhat a cliche game. Well, damn. There are no notes to read, no dialogue, only your interpretation of the story. Okay, let's do it. Boop. Really selling it with that itchy page. What is a perfect spot? It is a place where you make the best memories, while the rest are silent. Okay, find a perfect spot. Okay, leave. Oh no. Oh no. Am I am I am I a murderer? Am I a killer? All right, so can't walk away. Guess the dumpster isn't a good spot. Yeah, lots of missing kid posters. Usually that means that our character is the killer. They're all over the place, too. Damn. Cute little fountain. This looks nice. But I guess this isn't it. Okay. Hello. See ya. <gasps> a shiny. Get a shovel from the car. God damn it. All right, let's run back to the car. What am I digging up in the graveyard? There we go. I want to bonk somebody with this. Also, I think on the Itch.io page, it said this was made in four days. I love seeing what devs can do in such, like, tight time constraints. Get the body. Oh, come on. I am the killer. Yeah, I love seeing <clears throat> what devs can come up with, like, gameplay-wise, graphics-wise, and story-wise. In such, like, like, small time frames. It's, it's really inspiring. Hello? Um... Are you a weeping angel? Where are you? What's your deal? Okay. Let's... Repent your sins in church. She's got me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where's the front door? There we go. Damn.
What is that, Silent Hill 4? Hello? Who are you? Hi! <laughs> oh. Repent. I'm trying. I wonder how many games I've played where I am the killer. That's a very common uh, trope in these horror games. <laughs> Love it. Oh, I wish I could bonk them. Boop. Boop. Oh. One of these made a sound. Is this stabbing? Cute. That that is like the smallest little jab jab ever. There we go. Right, let's head through the door. saying wake up repent or go back so I think this is where the different endings come in play so first I shall repent I didn't mean to kill all these kids I'm very sorry I'm getting arrested. Yep. Unless I'm also going to kill the cop. Cute. Yeah, let's run through that again and get the other ending. Okay. Let's turn around. Yeah, I do not repent. In fact, I'm gonna go do it again. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was it. Cool. Um, yeah, short and sweet. I can uh, definitely see how that was made in four days. Uh, so yeah, we're just a killer, and we kind of feel bad about it, but in the end, we're just like, eh. Actually, let's let's go do it some more. <laughs> Cool. Uh, yeah, let's head to the next one. Also, I like how one of the assets used was by Pizza Doggy. <laughs> Cute. All right, yeah. Okay, and this one's called Hibernation. A small but eerie town, an unknown killer, and a cash reward. <laughs> In this short PlayStation or PSX style horror game, you play as a local detective investigating a murder in the hopes of earning themselves some cash for finding the killer. Venture to town and see what you can find out for yourself. Um, I don't think I've played Heart Rot. Or Heart Trot? Maybe I have. That sounds familiar. Yeah, this is only their second game ever. So, yeah, let's check it out. Boop. Uh, music is by... Oh, I think I clicked on credits. Sepia, White, Black, and Moose Jaw. All by Plastic Heart Surgery. Go check them out. What the fuck? There we go. It kept going back down to credits. You know who killed me? Lucy Price. $20,000, damn.
That sounds like the parents from the Charlie Brown cartoons. Wah, 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 wah. All right, let's get that cash reward. <clears throat> I always hate coming back to this town. But I want that money. <laughs> Guess I need to find some evidence about her case if I want them to cough up that cash. Damn. I mean, at least I'm being honest. Uh, let's see. Can't leave. Can I go back here? No. Hello? Money, please? I mean, I have some questions for you. Okay. Guess they don't want to talk. No? Okay. How am I supposed to get this money if nobody will talk to me? Looks like it's chained shut. Uh, if I want, if I want in to investigate, I'll need some bolt cutters. Got it. Can I go to church? Locked. Ah. But I can find the key in the Price's home? Why would he be there? There's some bolt cutters. Yoink. see anything out here nope invisible wall okay let's go cut that chain off hello god damn <laughs> oh we're going in no knock no nothing Evidence collected. Zero out of four. Okay. Lucy's been spouting nonsense again. Something about wanting to leave town for good. How dare she? We've been here our whole lives, and she's just going to throw her history and our church away? Maybe sending her, uh, her there more often will help. There must be a way to convince her to stay. Oh, I took a picture. Okay. Evidence one, empty beer bottles. There are multiple beer bottles scattered around the house. I can use this to say the Price family were heavy drinkers. Perhaps this influenced the tension between the Price parents and their daughter. Damn. Okay. <gasps> Love. <laughs> What is that behind you? Hi! Okay, bye. Get the fuck out of my face. Your breath stank. Okay, evidence collected two. Is this a Bible? Yep. There are multiple religious books around the house. I can use this to say religion was a factor as the Price family frequented the nearby church. Perhaps religion influenced the Price family to murder their daughter. So they're heavy drinkers and very religious. Got it. Uh. Lucy Price, our dear daughter. They buried her in the backyard like a dog. Evidence 3, grave. There's a lone grave sitting in the backyard. I can use this to say they buried their daughter out of guilt for what they've done. I know there's no body here, but nobody else needs to know that. How do I know that? 
What if I killed the girl and I'm actually just like trying to get some money? Lucy is gone. Our daughter is gone. The police say she is missing, but we both know she isn't coming home. She's gone. Our church said they could convince her and now look what fucking happened. <gasps> Swearing. I threw the key to the place into the neighbor's trash out of anger. I don't think God can help us anymore. We failed. Okay. So let's go into our neighbor's yard. Unless there, is there more evidence here I need to collect? No? Okay. Uh, I need to look around first. I did. What do you mean? I guess there's one more thing I have to take a picture of. Uh... Oh, what? There's a whole ass man back here. Evidence four, corpse. The body of Mr. Price is in the backyard. It looks like he overdosed on pills. I can use this to say he couldn't handle the guilt from murdering his daughter and took his own life. Shameful. <laughs> God. Our character is an asshole. Love him. Cool. Okay, now that I have all the evidence, let's go to the neighbor's yard. The key must be in the trash still. Uh, is it that trash? How do I get over there? Church key. Got it. All right, let's go to church. So is she going to be in there? Yeah, every time I cross the bridge, there's like the shadow of somebody standing there, and then they disappear. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. Boop. There we go. Uh, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. Our Lord will be return. In doing so, he needs a vessel. The local maiden will be appointed for hibernation, awaiting his return in the bowels of our church. Pick up key. Okay. So that's why the game's called Hibernation. They took the girl and put her in the basement of the church to be a vessel for <gasps> raining blood under a lacerated sky. Um, where did it kick me out at? Just in the front door. Huh. Uh, looks like there's a grave here. Okay, nothing on you. Uh, lots of invisible walls. Oh, here we go. Looks like a cellar. Oh, a log. Alrighty. Boop. It has collected five out of four. Man, I'm guaranteed that cash now.
And who put up the bounty for her? Not bounty, but like the cash reward. Oh, fuck. The sound stopped. Hello? <laughs> Hello! I found you! Evidence 5. Lucy Price. Lucy Price is dead. But well, she's so happy. I did the deed. I knew it! I did the deed myself. I did the right thing. The day of rapture will follow soon. Only through her hibernation will our Lord, uh, will our Lord will return to us? He will stand above this town as the trumpets screech their song. I did the right thing. For he is king. All evidence collected. <laughs> Great job. Okay. So I killed her to Damn, I got all that cash. Good for me. I truly did the right thing. Case conclusion. After a local detective investigated the Price family home, they discovered that after growing tensions arose in the family, Lucy Price was murdered by her parents. This detective has been paid a $20,000 reward by Lucy's relatives for this unfortunate discovery. The Texas logo? More in the story at six. So I kill her, put her in this cabinet for hibernation so she can be a vessel for our god. But then also go collect cash a cash reward on it? Thank you very much for playing. Of course. Thank you for making it. Our character truly was an asshole. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And they collected all that evidence just so they could twist it. And make it seem like the family did it. That's that's great. Very smart. The easiest 20k he's ever made. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, let's head on to the next one. Okay, this one's called Killer at the Shop. Uh, after a long day, you need to buy some groceries before you go home, and nothing else going to happen. I'm sure. Uh, I think, yeah, this is the only... <laughs> they have Feed the Dog with a giant PNG. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, this is the only other game they've posted. So, yeah, let's check it out. They do say they're not a professional game developer. So, hopefully no bugs. We can actually finish it. Yeah, let's check it out. Boop. Damn, we are speeding. And we slam on those brakes. Buy everything you need. Uh, can I leave? Can I just go home? Can I go to McDonald's? Uh, something six? Okay. Um, there's one item. Two, three. I feel like I've played this exact. Ooh, that music. Well, I gotta cut it out for copyright. <laughs> I feel like I've played this exact uh, store layout before, too. 
Okay, got five items. Where's that sixth? Here we go. Talk with cashier. Don't mind if I do. Hi, handsome. Will there be anything else? Um, no. No. Uh, eat gum. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, bye. Can I pay? Um, 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 oh, there we go. Nope. Oh, I have to space. Okay. Your total is 1450. Hello? That never happens. Stay here. I'm going to check the generator. Damn. Damn, he fucking zooms out. Uh, let's go get this flashlight. Objective, get to car. What the fuck? <laughs> One out of four, bad ending. Got it. So let's run through this again. That guy, like, axed me up very quickly. Is there anything around back I need to do? So I wonder if rather than trying to go at the front door, uh, if I can go through the back door. Hey. Yonk. Oh my god. Hey, I made it. Is this the good ending? Because I get to go home? Oh, you followed me home. <laughs> Good ending, two out of four. So now I have two other endings to try to get. Hmm. I wonder what, uh, what other endings there are. I think there's gotta be something around the back. Maybe not though. So I went back there before, I didn't see anything. Yeah, I can't go up there. Huh. Um, can I play in traffic? Like, I don't see any cars or anything. So yeah, here, I'll play around with this for a second and see what I can find. There's a key right here. Um, so now I'm in the back. I think if I grab the flashlight, he starts attacking. Uh, what are you? Take the pistol? Don't mind if I do. Okay. So now, let's wait for him to come over here. That is loud as shit. That is so loud. True ending. Three out of four. So 
So we killed him, and then it ends with us with our us just kicking our feet up. Okay. So there's one more ending I gotta find. Let's me poke around at it some more. What if I can like drink coffee to death? I don't know. Alright, yeah. I'll keep looking. <laughs> it worked! R.I.P. Clyde. Death by coffee. Fucking ridiculous. There we go. It's fading out now. So is this like the hidden ending? The coffee ending. Perfect. Alright. That was adorable. Uh, I can definitely tell that was probably like their first or second game they've ever made. Uh, but yeah. The fact that they had the coffee ending really, really tickled me. Cool. Uh, let's head on to the next one. Okay, and this one's called Stories to Tell. Run away. In Stories to Tell Run Away, you are a young Spanish man named Mike. I'm Mike. Who is staying at his grandparents' house since his parents have gone on a trip. One night, his grandparents went out to dinner and Mike was all alone. Or so he thought. Damn, they couldn't take me with me? Or, yeah, take me with them? There we go. <laughs> oh, there's checkpoints. Uh, it's a psychological horror game based on dreams me, the developer, has had. Each episode is different. More episodes coming soon. Uh, this is about 15 to 20 minutes. Cool. Let's do it. <clears throat> August 5th. It all started when my parents had left me for a business trip. I was staying with my staying at my grandparents' house, uh, and that day they had left me to go out for dinner. So I was home alone in my grandparents' house. Got it. I had just arrived home. I was very tired and wanted to go to sleep on the couch. Okay. Uh, let's do it. They have some fancy paintings. Okay. Uh, sleep. Got up at 8 p.m. I was very hungry. Okay. Let's find some to eat. Get macaroni? Is that what that said? I had to heat up the food. Look at this shiny bowl of something. I guess it looks like macaroni. <laughs> okay. Um... Eat food? Yeah, alright. This is a nice house. Oh. There we go. I like to eat in the back room. Oh god, are we going to go to the back rooms? Uh, I guess not here. Where's the... Does it mean this back room? What do they mean? I would rip this straight off the wall. My fat ass could never. Left click to sit down and eat. Yeah, this reminded me of the Fears to Fathom font. Like, yeah. Stories to tell, run away. Fears to Fathom. Yeah, it's like the same color scheme. Left click to sit down right here. Okay. The food was very good. But I felt something was wrong. Ha <laughs> ha 
Somebody broke into my house to take a shit. Electricity had been cut off. Why is the screen red? The fuse was in the attic. Why, why is the screen red? I think this was where the stairs were. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Uh, I started having hallucinations. Why are there dumpsters up here? What is this? Is that part of the hallucinations? It better be. Because this place is a fucking pigsty. <sighs> I didn't know what would happen, uh, but I wanted to go and watch TV again. Priorities. Whee! And then I broke my legs. Hello? Hello, is it? Open the door. Who are you? I said open the door. Okay. If you don't open it, I will. Why is that door cracked open? I thought it was just scare me. There was no possible way he could get in. Check out the bathroom. What's going on in here? Hello? You wanna come in? I'll let you in. So, what am I doing? Like, I want to get in that bathroom, figure out what's going on. I guess I'm just gonna sit down and watch TV. Somebody using my microwave? Uh, I had to go and switch on the lights again. Damn it, they got me. That's so loud. Hello? I want to watch YouTube in peace, please. Okay. Whee! I had to get out of the house. What? Uh... <laughs> uh, sorry to tell, run away. Episode one, run, run away. I run to the police station. I explained the people there the situation. They gave me water and something to eat. I said some macaroni. The police went to the house. The police never found that person. But all I knew, uh, it was that I hope. But all I knew it was that I hope that never happens again. Thanks for playing. Ah, uh, silly. That was silly. Those two scares actually got me. I am ashamed to admit. I wonder what happens if I die. Yeah, let's go to the checkpoint. And... Here he goes. God, that's so loud. That is insanely loud. Okay. Whee! I had to get out of the house. <laughs> Come on, buddy, you can do it. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> that was silly. Alright, um, let's do one final one. Okay, and this one's called True Backrooms. Uh, this is by Waffle Paws. Which, I love this little icon. So, people didn't know, this is, uh, Akuma Kira's, like, 
troll account. They've made some horrific troll games under this account or this identity. Yeah, they call this the most accurate depiction of the backrooms. Uh, they were kind enough to pop in my Discord server and give a few keys out. Remove? <laughs> Remove myself from the backrooms? All right, let's do it. Standing. It just says standing. Cute. Waiting. Walking. Yeah, every time I do something, it... Cute. Alrighty, let's get walking around. Do you know of any other backrooms horror games I need to play? Or uh, even like the pool rooms or just liminal space horror games I should check out? Uh, let's go this way. Damn. This one's huge. I was thinking that they made a game where you can get into the back rooms as well. I can't remember what game it was, though. Maybe if they see this video, they'll leave a comment. Yeah, I'm trying to think of if it was this dev or another dev that made like a full game and then one of the like secrets was you can get into the back rooms. Running. Cute. And I said this whenever I was playing, um, I think it was like the back rooms project. Something weird right there. Uh, I play they're making a Backrooms movie. I think it's either A24 or Blumhouse. Oh, this is dark as fuck. Ew. Which, after the success of Five Nights at Freddy's, I'm wondering if, like, internet horror will be the new thing for horror movies. So there's also, like, uh, Skinema Rink, which I need to watch. Probably that's, like, a very good, well, some people say it's good, like a liminal space horror movie. Is this a plug? Weird. There's, like, just a random socket. Yeah, weird. What if I have to, like, I wonder if I find something and I can charge something in the socket? And they tried to do a Slender movie, but that sucked ass. That was Garbaggio. Uh. So I would also like to see. I think it's some other, like, internet horror stuff that would be really cool. Like an SCP movie, I think, would be sick. Uh, like a Containment Breach style movie. Um, maybe redo a Slender Man movie. Make it good. A Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Oh. Would be awesome. A Lost in Vivo movie would be great. Mr. Craven was here. I am here. How'd you know it was me? How 
That's not even the name of my computer. That's not... I don't even think that's my name on Steam. Maybe it is. How'd you know? Yeah, what other, like, internet horror do you think would be, like, a good movie or show? And speaking of show, I watched all of Monarch Legacy of Monsters last night. It's the, like, basically like the Godzilla TV show. And it was... It was okay. It spans, like, multiple different generations, and they have Kurt Russell and his son playing the same character, which I thought was a really good idea. Yeah, I liked it, for the most part. And I've been on a recording blitz this week. My husband is down in London for work. Yeah, there's the... Mr. Craven was here. So let's, I went left last time, so let's see if I can go... No, I, I went right last time. Let's see if I can go left this time. I can't. All right. Yeah, he's... Uh... He's down in London for work, and so I have nothing to do. So I've just been recording a lot. So I think right now, after this video... I'll still have, like, three videos just waiting to post. Standing. Okay. It's kind of hard to tell, like, in these dark areas, uh, if it's a hallway or if it's just a dead end. I feel like I've been around here before. Oh, bleh. Yeah, weird. What if I have to, like, I wonder if I find something and I can charge something? Is that how I sound? How did the game record my voice? One, I hate my own voice. I hate it. Every time I hear myself talk, I'm like, Ugh, you fucking nerd. You high-pitched, nasally nerd. But also, that was that was incredible. That, that was good. I've never had a game just record a bit of my voice before, out of nowhere. Wondering, like, what other crazy shit's gonna be done to me. Okay, let me hit buttons to make sure I'm not missing. Oh, I can jump. Is there F flashlight? T for torch? No. Okay. Alright. I guess I'll cut to the next cool thing. I, I am going to try to beat this. I think there's an achievement for finding the exit. Hey, everybody. So I feel like an idiot. I feel like a big dumbass. There is no ending to this. I just asked the dev. And they're like... There's no monsters. There's no creatures. There's no exit. This is as close to the original Backrooms story as you can get. You're just running around trying to find a way out, but there is no exit. The only way to get the achievement is to actually just quit. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, and they, I think they made fake screenshots and stuff for the game. Damn. Like I said, Waffle Paws is like their, their troll account. So I should have known. I should have known. All right. Oh my God. As you can see, I've been, I was running around for an hour. <laughs> I am, I am so done right now. All right. Oh, cool. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like. It really helps. Um, if any recommendations for horror games to cover, please let me know and check out my Patreon. Me and my husband are going to be covering the, uh, dark pictures anthology, which is like man from Medan, little hope house of ash ashes. Uh, those games, whenever he gets back from London. Um, and yeah, it just helps out the channel. Cool. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.